Hello everyone, I am super excited because I have a great project for you guys today. Welcome to Gazelle Creative Studio, my name is Uriel. Please subscribe to this channel because I will be bringing great projects, creativity and inspiration. Today I am part of the uh, Why Will You Make collaboration. As host, we have Connie from Connie's Woodshop and DIYs and Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY. As guest host, we have Kathy Joe from Kathy Joe DIYs. The links to their channels and the playlist will be listed in the description box. For the first DIY, we will need an egg shape cloche. This one came from Target, a ceramic candle holder, and some metal ribbon from Dollar Tree. This cross is from Hobby Lobby. Spanish moss or polyfill. First, we will check how much metal ribbon we need for this project and trim it with scissors. This grass is a Christmas ornament, so we will remove the hanging loop. To create the stand, we will glue two small wooden pieces together and then attach them to the cross. I will stain the base using furniture markers to match the color of the cross as closely as possible, but this won't be very visible anyway. I spray painted gold the metal ribbon in my garage. Next, using this handheld drill, I will create tiny holes around the base and use small screws to attach the ribbon. Friends, I'm glad you're here today. Please consider subscribing to this channel as more exciting projects are coming soon. Thank you to all my supporters for their support. Using E6 Dassin glue, I will glue that candle holder to the base of the cloche and let it dry for 24 hours. It is time to assemble this DIY. To finish this, you can use Spanish moss or polyfill as clouds and close it with a dome. Also, I use two-sided tape for the crust to have better stability. For the second DIY, we will need a hurricane vase from Dollar Tree and some tiles. This came from Habitat for Humanity Restore. Some yarn, also from Dollar Tree. These items are optionals wooden pieces and faux leather to make a belt. First, I will place the vase against the tiles to see how much I need to cut off, as you can see here. Next, I will place some yarn through the tiles vertically. Floss the tiles, then pull. Floss the tiles, then pull. 
Make the yarn tight, but not super tight. This yarn will cover the lines nicely. You can use thicker yarn for better coverage. Make sure to leave some slack on both ends to tie them. Now I will cut yarn and place the strings horizontally, leaving room on both sides to tie the ends. I will place a few rubber bands around the vase to keep the tiles in place and tie the strings. You can cover the back of the vase with faux leather or other materials. I will leave it as it is, as it will be placed against a wall and the back won't be visible. To create the buckle, I will cut the wooden stick to size and glue the pieces together using tacky glue. Now I will cut a 1 inch strip of faux leather for the belt. Next, I will paint the buckle white and glue the belt around the vase, and we should be done with this project. Here is the final reveal. Which DIY is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below.
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video.